This is Angus Miles in the Oracle Solution Centre in Linlithgow, and I'm going to give you a demo of just how simple it is to create database instances using database cloud service on the Oracle Cloud Machine. So the Oracle Cloud Machine is an offering from Oracle that's designed to allow our customers to enjoy the same cloud services they find in the Oracle Public Cloud, deployed on some purpose-built hardware, installed into their data centre and secured behind their own firewalls. So what you can see here is the um, login page for the DBCS service console on the Oracle Cloud Machine we have in our lab in Lithgow. And I'm going to log in as the administrator of an identity domain called DBCS Demo. So once I log in, you should see the service console and this will look very familiar to users of our Oracle Public Cloud who've used DBCS in the public cloud because we are running the same software stack that you find in the OPC on the Oracle Cloud Machine here. So I get a brief summary of how much resource I'm using and you can see that I've got one database cloud service instance up and running already. But the purpose of this, um, this video is to show you just how quick the provisioning um, is using our web-based interface here. So we can do all of these tasks we're going to do with the web-based interface, we can do with our REST API, but we'll stick to the um, web UI here because it's a little bit better for demos. So we get a choice on this first screen of the wizard about what level of service we want to use, so we'll pick a single choice here, but we also get to choose and whether we want hourly or monthly billing. And which you should pick here will really depend on the usage patterns you predict for the DBCS instance you're going to create. We'll stick with monthly billing, we'll click next, and what we find here is we get a choice of the software version that we can have in our um, provisioned instance. So we get a choice between 11GR2 and 12CR1. We'll go with 12C because it's got that great pluggable database technology. And here we can pick our, soft, uh, our edition, and this is really um, dictates how many database options we're going to be able to use in the created database. We'll pick the, the top choice, Enterprise Edition Extreme Performance, and we'll click Next. And then we'll see a screen that's going to ask for some details about um, how we want to configure and set up our DBCS instance. So we'll, we'll um, call it a name. So we'll call it uh, My DBCS uh, Demo. We'll give it a description. And then we get to pick the compute shape. So the compute shape is just the combination of CPU and RAM that's going to be um, assigned to the virtual machine that's running our database for us. So we'll pick the smallest shape here, but all of this list of shapes is exactly the same as you'd find in the Oracle Public Cloud. So we'll just pick OC3. We'll leave the time zone as the UTC. It's a good choice. As I've mentioned, we're going to get a brand new virtual machine to host our database, and we get full access to that virtual machine at the Oracle Linux level and that allows us to make any tunings or modifications we want. And we secure that SSH access with a public key from a public-private key pair. And note that I'm never uploading the private key here. So me as the user, so I'm emulating a customer user here, I have, I have retained that private key and it's only me that's got access to that virtual machine. And then we get a couple of screens about how we want to configure the size of our, of our database. And we can start at um, the default is 25 gigabytes, the smallest is 15, and depending on we, how we configure additional storage volumes onto the OCM, we get just under 6 terabytes of total storage available to us. So we'll step through those, we'll keep the default, and then we're asked to enter the administration password. And This is used for the sys and system passwords. Um, it's also used for, to control access to the DBAS monitor console and the Enterprise Manager Express console that are provisioned as part of the, the DBCS instance. Then we get to identify a database, we get to put a SID in, we'll leave the traditional ORCL SID, and we get to say what do we want to call the PDB that's created as part of this um, provision flow, and we'll stick with PDB1. And we'll leave the uh, character sets as the same um, as, as the default UTF-8 is a good choice, but you can pick any, any, um, anything in there that suits your, your needs. And then we move over to the right hand side and we see a couple of different differences between the OPC here. So we're going to configure the backup, so we've got inbuilt um, backup tooling for DBCS on the OCM. Um, and what I'm going to put here, rather than a storage container, as you do in the Oracle Public Cloud, I'm going to put an NFS mount location to the onboard storage um, facility on the OCM rack. I can put just a generic NFS in the customer's data center in here if I want to be sure that I'm taking those backups and taking them off the rack. Um, it just depends which choice you do depends on your strategy around about backups. But we'll pick the onboard storage for now. 
Um, and you can see in the networks here, we, we, if we had more than one Ethernet network assigned to this tenancy, we would get a choice of Ethernet networks here. But we, we just set this up very simply. We've got one Ethernet network for this DBCS demo tenancy, so that's all that's available there. And then we get a little estimate down the bottom there about how much storage we're going to use, including all of the backups the tooling is going to take for us. So I click Next, and I should see a summary of um, the details I've just entered, so I'll check those carefully, and then pick Create. And it's going to go away and submit this request to the platform service engines, and you can see it's there um, in the service console. It's um, being created. Um, it'll First, it'll check my quota. It'll create the virtual machine that's needed. It'll mount all the storage volumes, install the Oracle software for me, run a DBCA to create the database that I specified in the wizard there, then start the listener, and then finally come back and tell me that uh, my database instance is ready for use. And all of that takes around about 20 minutes. I don't have to speak to the network team. I don't have to speak to the virtualization team to get a new VM. I don't need to download the installer software. I don't need to run the Oracle Universe to install it. All of this provisioning is done for me from start to finish by the Oracle Cloud Machine. It takes around about 20 minutes. So we're going to take a brief pause. I'm going to go for a coffee and then I'll come back and show you the finally created um, instance. Okay, after a short pause for the provisioning engine to do its thing, we're back and you can see that I now have two completed um, DBCS instances here. This top one is the one that we stepped through the provisioning of and if I click into it and get the details I can see I've got everything I need to connect to it. I've got the links to Enterprise Manager Express and the device monitor console as well as Application Express. So essentially this is ready to use right now. I didn't have to download anything from OTN, um, get my VM provisioned or do any uh, manual install with the Oracle Universe installer. All of that provisioning is provided on the OCM. So tune in for some other uh, videos. We're going to show you how we're going to use this and some of the uh, post-creation value-add cloud tooling that's in the OCM in a subsequent video. Thanks for watching.